that. <laughs> I'm assuming that that was taped to this car rolling across the factory line. Look at, the, look at the option, show them the upgrade. The upgrade is no cruise control. Look, cruise is no, they, I mean, this is, this is a car where technology definitely will allow you to have a cruise control, but it has cruise. Nice car, this is Steven's car. He bought this car, paid it off, owns it now, don't you? Still pay taxes on it. Very nice car. I told him he needs to drive it more. It's like a nice little, this is Steven. He has the orange, the, the Cuda with the turbo. We are looking at the freaking Audi too. What do you guys know about Audi? The bleeder valve, the clutch. We're um, trying to get our daily driver. Well, I'd like to, I don't really know a lot about this little car stuff. My fingers are too big, all these parts. I need to replace the, I took the panel down. I need to replace the master cylinder in there. You guys wanna know anything about that stuff? What do you guys? Feel like making comments about that? I would like to uh, take input. Yeah. Hmm. She's she's got an ailment. <laughs> we got this. We got a shooter with some dot four. <laughs> I'm trying to fill the line up to bleed the master cylinder. Yeah. See if that helps fix this. Now it's air trapped. Oh oh yay. Okay. It's a brand new airport here. We've never seen it, so we're gonna go ahead and go in and look at it. They'd be mad if I flew the drone. Well, yeah, they, they went fancy in Kansas City. They got the bridges underground. Well, then you be in the rain and the snow. Absolutely crazy. This is a complete transformation. It's completely different. But it's just like other airports we've been to. This is Kansas City. This is like what used to be 15 minutes before your plane leaves you could make it. Not anymore, I guess. Now you've got the whole hour beforehand to get through security. Massive, though. They spent a bunch of money on it, didn't they? while you're waiting for someone and not trying to get towed away. Take two. They gave away the free parking. You can't come in, it's a dollar, no matter what. It used to be free for 30 minutes. 25 bucks a day. Okay. If there's a green light up on the ceiling, that means that there's somewhere a there's a spot open. Mm -hmm. Blue lights are handicapped. So let's see, green. there's a oh, green right light there. right What's there. Very there's look. a green light <laughs> and it's a spot that's open. Right in the front. Yeah, right up front. That's pretty cool, that's a good idea. More like the whole row's full, except this spot. Now we'll see if the light yeah, goes. Oh yeah, see if the light changes, maybe. <laughs> we'll see if the light changes when we get out. The light's red, it changed to red, that's freaking cool. I guess we're doing an airport tour. That's what we're gonna do right now. We're going to pick up, uh, my aunt, uh, Diane from Georgia. Very crazy. This is, this is MCI, KC International Airport. Huge. They got disco lights and all kinds of stuff going on here. Yeah. Okay guys, so this, I guess you've all have seen big, huge monstrosity airports but I ain't never seen one at Kansas City. <laughs> I ain't never seen this at Kansas City before. This is nuts. This is like, this is what big airports have, not Kansas City. Oh my God. That's why it costs so much to live here. Dang. Help oh, look, the future has arrived. This is brand new. Like this is, I can't believe it's scratched up. Hmm. Nobody heard about it yet. That's why nobody's here. They charge you and go and get in before the flights begin. We can go past security without 
It watches. Yeah. That's because they wanted fifteen dollars an hour for a cashier, so they said, "I'll show you." They said, "We'll make a complete automatic no, store." Lady that comes, she comes here every day and sits here till about five, six o'clock at night. But she don't need to be here. But then she really don't. It works automatically, huh? It watches you. This right here. You just you just walk up and grab it, and the camera sees you. All these cameras, they're, they're everywhere. Cameras on every single one. And then automatic, it just knows. Wouldn't that be cool at a grocery store? What'd she say was $60? The cheapest plane ticket. They won't let us go in and actually see the airport. We have to fly to go in and see all of it. This is big for, oh, look, it's the, there you go, the massive train of... This is the end of it, but it's probably a quarter mile down there, isn't it? I bet that's a quarter mile. This is like brand new, paid for by all of us, all of you guys. We appreciate it, I guess. I don't know. I guess keeping up. There's nobody in here coming in. Wow. Glad they built this big freaking building. Look at that, they, we really needed it. Oh my goodness. Man, I'm glad it's here. You really can't argue with it. Well, Kansas City needed that big massive airport. It's like, what time is it right now? Eight o'clock on a Monday night? There ain't a soul in here. How y'all doing? Fancy stuff there. Oh, that must be where, that's where they leave. So I tried, and they won't let me get in there to, I guess that it's kind of a drag. You can't walk in and meet them at the gate. I guess most of our ports are probably like that. I don't freaking know. I'm not used to picking someone up at a big airport, I guess. I'm not, don't know the etiquette. Used to be just kind of just drive around in a circle until they walk outside because the plane lands like a hundred feet from where you pick them up at. It's real close. This is huge maybe it gets busy maybe it does long escalators probably ready for massive influxes it's not supposed to be busy all the time it's supposed to handle big influxes of people probably right because it's not about having a bunch of people all the time it's about having a bunch of people right now real fast boy this would do it too yeah they'll come down the escalators and i'll see hundreds of people and then the bags will come and boom, they're gone. I'm like, where did everybody go? So they go get, so they get out quick. Mm -hmm. Wow. The, the, they hired a lot more people, so. Well, I have a crap load of carousel. <coughs> Unless there. something happens to the carousel. No, they got nine of them. They have, yeah, but each airline, Jesus. each airline is designated which one they, they can, can probably, go on. They, they, they but they can use, yeah. Like if six is down, Southwest will go to seven. Okay. Do they still have a sky so, cap up, up there? Uh -huh. Where you can like, give five, ten bucks or something like that. Yeah. Throw it in. And give me a luggage. Yep. Yeah. And then you don't even have to go to the ticket counter. Just go straight to security. Yeah, that's the Yeah. They have that. Um, give back these Hey, five. have a good night. Good you talking too. to you. I mean, they act like they built this for a plane with a million people on it. Let's see. One plane just showed up. A couple of people leaving. A couple of people waiting. Here. That's how busy are we here. <laughs> lots and lots of steps. Yeah. Not like they, Did you ever fly in the old airport? Yeah. And how many steps was that? You had already been at home in your bathtub. You had already been in your bathtub. Cool area, and before you even get to the little things that start taking you, you know, where you don't have to walk on. I mean, it's like a, a mile. I was like, are you here? And then I'm like, oh my God, you saw that on the stairs. <laughs> what they spend on this airport? I don't know, but I know that the parking is like $25 a day, and I forgot how many parking spots they said. And then the other day they had it on the news and they were all full. Did I'm you, like, I'm paying for this whole... <laughs> have you pulled in here? Have you driven in here to park yet? The lights turn red. The, they turn green when there's an open parking spot. And they turn red when the when the spot turns uh, closed, when you don't have a spot. So you drive down, if there's a green light on the, on the row, it works. Is that what it is? <laughs> oh my God, you don't know? 
tell. <laughs> they didn't tell. I never knew that. That's like some technology I pulled in. Like, is that how that works? I was like, what are the red lights? They should. Uh, that's a. That's a selling point right there, isn't it? Yeah, the Jetsons escalators. There's two of those, okay? But then there was like, it should have been about four more to our terminal. I'm just saying. They have a freaking robot in there. Down there. It's probably a it's $10 called? cup of coffee. Uh, you think it's 10 bucks? Order it. Let's go through and order it. Drink. Oops. Then add a whole bunch of stuff. How much do you think? Just two? It only lets you put. Uh, That's it? I don't see anything for cream. No way. This is espresso. What? Oh, I'll come back. They don't have coffee. They have Mother Earth coffee, but nothing that's like coffee. So, I don't know what to tell you. You don't just have a coffee with cream and sugar. No, you gotta be all fancy. But you can add milk. You can do sugar and milk. I guess for Mother Earth. Look, it's a complete automated setup here. Just sitting there waiting for us to do it. It doesn't ask for a day off. It doesn't need paid holidays. It doesn't need anything like that. It just sits here and waits. Type your name. Yeah. Hi. I feel like I'm watching Sesame Street. Hey. Scan the code. What are you gonna do? Okay. Is it gonna grind the coffee beans or whatever? something will it go up and push the button or does it automatically know there is nobody here oh what's it doing there what if it'll put a lid on it now, do you think it's going to pick it up and not spill it? Whoa, it just went up. Look, it is almost all the way to the top. Fun one. Did it spill it? Oh my god, there's no lid. I'd wait to see if it shone a lid out here. Okay, good job. Get a lid. Hey, get a lid. It hasn't came down yet. Hey, thank you so very much. Uh, yeah. yep, the lid fit good. Okay, let's see. Appreciate how it. Am I am I Finally got a mounting bracket for Riley's banner. It was out in the yard over there, but it broke. Got one stick left, so I figured I'd go ahead and put something more permanent. This is a cross for my brother. That was 15 years ago. Uh, Riley got shot and killed in Blue Springs here. So, guys, the case is still going. So, justice for Riley, yeah. Trying to charge everything up. I've already started everything once. We're moving, trying to figure out where I'm gonna park all this stuff at. Got all these. All the trucks need a parking spot. The stupid freaking light. Look at this. See it? Dumbass LED things. They almost never work. Let's just go for a couple drives here. Fire this truck up. Old silver truck. Oh. Truck. This is a really nice truck. We're gonna go drive this because it was dead too. Volvo's dead. 
I have it charging right now. What's it pushing? Oh, it's on float. No way, that means the battery's full. Hmm, let's see if it starts. Now I'll do that in a minute. Hmm, let's go take this for a drive down the highway real quick. Let's go. Well, I totally failed on getting that little burnout. Kind of just burn out. Everybody, all the neighbors think that this is a broke down truck, I think. And, it, and I mean, it's not. everybody else has kind of this truck is the one that came was bun bearings had a bed plate done a long time ago back in the beginning of the shop had a spun bearing the guy said he was done with it he said i'm done i don't care he said five grand takes it i let it sit in the lot i tried to i didn't buy it for a long time finally we did buy it painted the frame white I did it for julie it was supposed to be julie's truck i wonder if we'll i don't know if we have anything look up in the card maybe there's a card up there for the doing this truck and then we sold it to rick freaking cool he's the one that did all the interior did the titan fuel tank the airbags all the stuff that's on it it's got all kinds of crap on it and came in said he wanted a dueling and i was like ain't that a freaking drag that sucks well we bought it back for twenty thousand dollars i sold it to him for eighteen five he spent twelve thousand dollars on this truck and then i bought it back for twenty it will start shaking pretty freaking good too. So I'm just, I'm running it down. I'm just gonna run it down the highway real quick and battery charged up. Everything we've got's got brand new batteries in it and they're all freaking dead. It's a pain in the butt. So I need to drive it. Guess we had to jump start the excursion again. They're pretty new. Calling this uh, almost managing our uh, vehicle portfolio. That's what we're doing here. Taking them off for a drive, just making sure they are still in proper functioning order. That tire, I think, has a bad valve stem or something. I lost the cap. I put it on the tire back there and you moved it before I had to change the cap. Jesus, H. They're just plastic ones. I guess it could be worse. It's got, what? It's got roughly 48 pounds of air in the back tire. You want some more? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. You know, when it comes to these different assets, look, I got all the, every light in the house on. Ah, uh, ABS light. It's, yeah. When it comes to this stuff, you know, I'm kind of burnt out on paying to have it. Getting it's nothing, I mean, I guess, you know. Got all kinds of stuff in here. Getting it ain't the big deal. Man, all the money you gotta pay to keep it, it's a pain in the butt. We got all kinds of stuff it's uh i don't know but i can't i just i just too sentimental to all of it <laughs> that sucks that's the most expensive sentiment you can have is sentimental sentiment <laughs> uh, this one's charging pretty good 13.3 kind of it's not even warmed up we can't drive this this thing has got grinding brakes I completely forgot. Yeah, this was the next drive was supposed to be to up north because it's got one drive in it to get up north. We can do that, and then we'll have to put new rotors and pads. Oh, I forgot. Here, you want to hear it? Those of you that watched the Florida video, we did one caliper back in Florida, and then just kind of went on vacation, finished the vacation. We 
do brakes later? Well, it's uh, definitely later right now. Okay, maybe they're not as bad as I exaggerate, but they're definitely not as good as I want, so that's, there's that. Everybody ought to have an excursion, though. I mean, everybody needs one. Did you hear it? It was growling. Whatever, it's growling, so uh, that's all we get to see of the old excursion. It goes, it just has a little problem stopping. Phone don't really pick up a growl. I mean, they all really run good. They just, uh, they're just everything else that's attached to the engine, <laughs> you know, pain in the butt. Freaking lining them all up here. There's sticks out here. I'm trying to figure out how to park all this crap. It's everywhere. I'm trying to configure this stuff. Been chainsawing cutting trees down before they actually get leaves on them in case you guys wondered right now it would be a good time to cut trees right cutting trees down trying to get the volvo scooted so nothing's touching it i was thinking about moving the double stacker but where i have the vehicles here and the double stacker parked there it's inaccessible with the volvo i mean it might be but i just tear the grass up doing 14 point turns It'll be a lot easier to move everything around. That way I can hit it in one shot, come in, get it, and get the, get the heck out. I'm thinking about putting it down there. <sighs> batteries messed up on it. Freaking batteries. Yeah, just trying to get everything parked. We're eventually going to have to gravel this whole thing right here. All the way over and for the bus and everything. Have it leveled out. I come in and cut it to a hard edge over there all the way along the fence and then gravel it so it's a nice level parking space all the way because there's a hump all the way across there. See, it humps up really bad. I'm trying to get this situated before grass actually starts growing. That way this stuff is going to be killing grass where it's going to be at. You know, park that way, the west is behind us. So, hmm, relying on the window tent. I need to paint the tires. If we paint tires, they look all brand new and nice, but we can't paint these, but it's also UV protectant, you know, covering up the tires, paint them. Sunlight can't get through paint. Every year we miss it and we uh, don't get it cut in time. And this completely covers, which I don't really mind it. There's horses over here and stuff. So, you know, right next door. So we might as well clean it out a little bit. Maybe something that the horses will eat will grow there, but I already cut them. I already went by and cut. <laughs> before it just chop it off at the bottom that way it doesn't have a chance to grow leaves and then we'll let it die a little bit and then get the truck once the trucks are moved one of these days most of this should just pull right out be wonderful just got a hook up on the parts guy named bryce audi dealer forget a master cylinder i need to run to molly and get it but i'm trying to do as much as much of the projects that need to be done here this thing leaks this is the outside spigot i need to replace it do something with it Make it so it don't leak to start with. Pretty funny how we work with almost no tools. Got a couple of wrenches and a hacksaw. It's, it's working too. Maybe there's tubing cutter in there anyways. Okay, so now we have to fix it. Wouldn't you agree? If it even comes out. It might spin it around, it might come out. No, it won't. I'm take that one off anyways. Unthread it. That's sweated. Dang. Actually, it's not. I might be able to unthread it, maybe. Looks like crap, but yeah. <sighs> Got it. Saws all a little bit, pulled it out. Done deal. Now, hopefully, there ain't enough room here. It'd be very nice to have the power washer right here ready to go. It's way over there tucked in. Nobody grabs it because it's not available. I can go in there with this, this, and this. to Home Depot, I guess. It's two blocks away. <laughs> Keep forgetting these brakes. We'll take the lift gate.
we've ran into this truck before. Yeah. This time we're doing it on purpose. <laughs> it's working. Of course, yeah. we couldn't get the hitch out. We just spent the last hour trying to pound the hitch out. It looks like I'm like running into the front of the truck, but. Uh, How far down is it? Long way. Okay. We made it. We just took a truck to the shop. I know you guys have taken trucks to shops before, haven't you? <laughs> We're doing it right now. Yep. Like literally yep. just pushed it into the shop. So we come down here to grab an Audi part, clutch master cylinder. Down here some freaking wear. Volkswagen dealer. State line. This is the ritzy, fitziest street, arguably on uh, in Kansas City. Only Volkswagen. Guess we gotta go across the street. Parts and services over there. There you go, Kansas City Audi. They are right by the highway. Just like that. Two hundred dollars for this old girl. like quick connect line must just push on there uh, hopefully so now we're gonna go see if we can find some lifelong trees to plant for the grandkids grandkids kind of kind of grandkids for the next generation right yeah. okay to hell with all the flowers, to hell with all the plants, to hell with all that stuff. We should have the swimming pool here. Like we should have the backyard, the house with the structure on the top. This would be awesome for a swimming pool to be in here. Holy, like the whole backyard. We'd have the camper parked in here for sure. Oh. How they build it just a bunch of freaking brackets bunch of bunch of trusses just made a bunch of little overhead cranes is all it is it's probably 14 feet tall you can make it however long you want uh, i kind of like that that's pretty cool that's a long span mm. he said they came from the netherlands to build this and it's a uh all automatic got a bunch of toggle switches like a lot and the, the the windows or the roof opens and closes retracts and goes back as uh needed automatically they've already they have parameters set for humidity whatever stuff like that wow a straight glass this is, uh, what do you think this is? 40 feet wide? 40 feet wide, every bit of 14, 14 feet tall. Who knows how long? Looks uh, endlessly replicatable for length. This is probably 100 feet long. You could have a shop in here and be outside and inside. Looks like they have the blinds on a string system. I'm sure that's the same way. All they do is literally push the button in it and it shades all of it. Hmm. Yeah, same thing here. They're all retracted in because there's like plants in here, right? It'd be cool at nighttime or look up, you got your sky wide open for your shop. Okay, I'm sitting here looking at these different trees. What kind of trees would you guys do generationally? Not cherries not a fruit tree yeah but we would want like one cherry tree what? the sucker is 138 without a warranty 184 with a warranty now what cherries would we want like you want sweet cherries i think these are like the, the picture ones the ones that come in drinks but no which ones should we get kids will be eating them Green, sweet cherry Sour cherry. Sweet cherry. 
I mean, I was actually thinking like a oak tree or something like that. I'm gonna plant a plant a big tree, and maybe a willow tree. I don't know. I don't know what kind of trees there are. I'm not a tree. I mean, I know evergreens actually grow pretty. Want to get you get big, freaking tall evergreens. We're just looking for trees. Look like a sugar maple. Dang, they're two hundred dollars. Oh, those are expensive. From like a long lasting tree. Red maple. It still retains the hardness and the, the, the virility of the, the red maple. What does an oak tree give off? I don't even know what it is. Acorns. Grows. Squirrels love them. Yeah. Squirrels I guess, love them. Right? Are yeah. they a menace when you mow? Do they. The, the, the mower will spit them out. Yeah. No, they do. These things produce those little helicopter seeds. Any of them that just do the leaves? You know, like they, they don't make anything but leaves? <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, how much time has been spent to here? Probably four or five years, a little more. Big jump start, huh? Like this one that's about to die. About we'll get it on a discount. Hi. It's Julie's birthday today. It's Friday. We're going to Tokyo Group. Seating area and lunch and stuff. It's crazy. Hey. We went flower shopping on your oh, birthday. Tree shopping. Tree shopping. Oh, yeah, we got trees. Yeah. Last trip of the day. Uh -huh. yep. Got three more trees. So we got a total of five trees, two oaks, two walnuts, and one fruity tree. No. Cherry tree. Weeping cherry tree, two oaks, and two maples. Not two walnuts. I'm not getting any walnuts. Okay, whatever. I think Steven's gonna bring the excavator so we can dig these big old girls in. <laughs> Probably an overkill. Deanna, Deanna, happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Woo! 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 Do I do it again? We do it again next year. Okay. You wanna do it again? Okay, okay, you gotta again. sing. You gotta sing. Birthday, birthday. Come on, you gotta sing. <laughs> he says no. Well, Go ahead, blow it out. Blow, blow it out. out. Blow, blow it out. out. I want. Are you... blow yeah. it I can. This is exactly what Uncle Bob would have wanted. This is spread it out along the community that he got it from. He got all this stuff by going to sales just like this. There's a lot of damn people here. How cool. Kind of like down to Buffalo, Missouri, and then back over there. On down there. Loaded it up, and then on the way back, we stopped at a gas station, and he was in there looking for those Zippo lighters. Oh, goodness. They oh. sold it, did they? Oh, they sold they it. They did. Like and so I, as I got to know him more, he was, he was just depressed. I mean, he had depression, and I'd talk to him about it. He, and spent, he spent a whole career in the house here, depressed. Yeah. yeah. 2002 or something. I, I got his that trans van, that Dodge had the license and wanted to. Well, the, the the conversion van, the did you? I remember taking a road trip in that. She gave it gun. to me. She That's wanted us out of here. Well, it's trashed on yeah, the Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a moment. It's I, over uh, me. I look at that thing. I'm like, I remember going to Tuscaloosa and that's a bitch. We were rode down the road in it. It's got a 360 engine, but the dipstick gone you got to take that whole front off of it to get the deck stick to but she said bruce we came home in 2002 and he helped me unload the stuff the kids went in the house and he didn't come out of the house for five years he spent a lot of time going in sales though 
Yeah. This is exactly what he would have wanted. This really is. You know? I hope she does good. I mean. I did, it looks like it. Look at that. I mean, they're. I didn't hurt some of the prices. I mean, they were 40 and $50 in it. So that's well, good. you can't be everywhere. And of course, I'm, I'm medically out here. I was laid up on last year. Dang it. And so they saw that pickup. I'd already talked to him. He wanted 2000 for it. It went for five to 550 bucks. That golden pickup out there. Oh, yeah. The so Chevy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. out there. I had a friend that wanted it. Was it, it crash or something? Was it, or was it engine? What was wrong with it? What was wrong? It had been a little wrecked, but it needed a fuel pump. Yeah, so it was still drivable. Oh, yeah. 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 I guess I'm going to look around too. You've been looking around already, huh? Well, that's mine. But you, you bought the frame? No. The bed? Oh, I bought it four or five years ago. I let it run to her to put stuff on. <laughs> that's an 8 by 14 Kiwani. And not Kiwani, that's a disc company. I just Yeah. Uh, you just found out? Yeah, that's a full eight. Found out a little late too. It's an appetite bed. Yeah. yeah, that's a heavy something too. Yeah. How'd you move it here? Oh, I well, that's my goose nag. I mean, lift it though. You have to lift it off the damn. Oh, trailer. I got stuff. I got. Could have picked one up with a tracker. I picked up the tractor and put the winch on it, and put then. Then I got two wagons over here. Yeah. Full so you of had stuff. that sucker just swinging and set it down, huh? No, I could just pick up part of it because it's too heavy. Yeah, I was going to say, I that sucker a, probably weighs 6,000 pounds, doesn't it? <laughs> it doesn't, no, it doesn't weigh that much, but it is heavy. And somebody else had, I don't know what it had been on, but it goes for a while with your rake. Instead of runners all the way down, it goes one and they got it cut out for a consent lower. So I gave oh, wow. $1,100 for it. Yeah. I was into drag racing for a number of years, and I just quit. My health went. Exactly what Uncle Bob wanted. So we got to go in your new garage. Yeah, my gosh, what are you doing? Very busy, lots of people, lots and lots and lots of lots of stuff, lots of trailers. Forty-seven million dollars right here. Bought some gold in his pallet. Tanner bought a pallet. Look. Bought a pallet of raw stock. Whoa, that's heavy. Cool. He was bidding against the owner of a salvage yard, and we got ran up to $1,000. Is that why that guy was buying everything? He runs a salvage yard? That makes sense. Yeah. Loading up, though. A lot of stuff going on here. Sale just ended. A lot of uh. Have fun yet? You got a winner here. Need a little help back on the back. Got me a break on it. Is it pushing? We had to come by and do some load securement. Cause it's not raining. Oh, it's about to rain though. Yeah, we just got to So we got all our stuff and we're, we're having our load securement checked. So we're good. <laughs>